Hey everyone, this video is for anyone trying to figure out a coolant leak on their car. Um, specifically, maybe one where you can see the drip coming down. Um, you can see it on the ground. So, uh, the car that I'm working on today is a 2008 Chevy Impala. Um, this has the 3.5 liter engine in it. So, um, things that I will talk about may be, may be specific about um, where things are located. So if you do have the 3.9 um, or the other engine, I'm not sure what that one is, um, things may be located in a different area. Um, general concept will be the same. Um, so the problem that I had happened to be the water pump. So basically right under the passenger side, like right right under the engine on the passenger side. Um, you won't be able to see it because it's not leaking anymore, um, but it would be a very steady drip. Um, so if I refilled it with coolant um, and then drove to work and parked it for the day, um, it would pretty much be out of coolant or very close to that by the end of the day. So um, coworker had seen that and let my wife know and then she was barely able to get home without it overheating and so um, didn't want to waste a lot of money and just keep filling it up with $20 um, gallons of coolant and so um, what I had to do is bring it to um, a auto shop and have them do it's called a pressure test on the cooling system um, so they could see where the drip was actually coming from uh, I didn't want to pay a thousand dollars and have them replace this part on their own once I found out it was the water pump um, I just went to Rock Auto and um, ordered the parts um, and then here we are so basically like I said what you would have to do to start if you are seeing a drip and you can't see it from under the car on your own um, as I could not um, plastic and the frame were in the way and so I couldn't see where the drip was actually coming from it was just kind of dripping off other parts so what I did is I brought it into a auto shop. Um, I have had good experiences with Honest One Auto Care. Um, so I brought it in there. They did do a pressure test. It was almost $100. I didn't really look around and see if there was anywhere cheaper. Um, I just needed to get the parts ordered. So this video is just for informational purposes and educational. Um, I'm not being sponsored by Rock Auto or Honest One Auto Care. Um, basically, I went in there, they did a pressure test to see, um, to hear air coming out or see where the drip was coming from. Um, and I actually watched the guy just for a little bit, um, just him kind of looking under the car. Um, but he didn't take anything off, so he was just doing a visual inspection, basically. He could tell, and you won't be able to see this in the video, unfortunately, I can try to give you some light here. That new part there is uh, the water pump that I just put in. Um, you can see it's right above the AC compressor pulley. So I could tell just from standing here, it looked like it was dripping from under the AC compressor when I was looking at it dripping. Um, could see a little puddle of coolant um, there and then um, from there I just looked directly under the car at that location and it was dripping um, what I didn't know is that it was actually dripping onto the AC compressor and then onto the ground off the frame so gravity was just pulling the the drip wherever so I could not tell where it was actually coming from um, being there is technically a pulley right here also on this so what I had to do is I just took the info he gave me said okay it's gonna be over a thousand dollars to replace ordered the parts on Rock Auto and then really yeah just started started to get get going on replacing this part was not that hard to remove um, this is really just a, di a diagnostic video but what you want to see when you take a part off that they tell you it is which obviously go with what they say, unless you have a reason to not trust them. When I took the part off, the part itself looked, I mean, there's it's a little corroded around where the gasket would be, 
but I could see that. And the way that the part sits is it sits like this in the car. So this is the top. So it was leaking from right here and then just dripping down to the bottom of the part onto the AC compressor and then onto the ground. So won't hold any coolant because of that leak. Not really sure if the part itself was bad, but it was only about a $35 part on Rock Auto. So I just thought I would um, get rid of that part too. Um, in general, the um, cooling system is pressurized. So, I mean, you my overflow tank goes right here. Um, I have the, I put in my coolant right here. This is the filler neck. Oddly enough, he also said that the filler neck when I did the the test was bad. He said, being this is a plastic part, it was melted. And I took it off, and I mean, it's not melted in any way, shape, or form that I could see. So, it's kind of irritated that he said that. I'm, maybe he was telling the truth, I just can't see it. Again, $5 part, so I replaced it anyway. Um, but yeah, the, you put your coolant in here and you have your radiator, typical radiator upper and lower hoses, um, and it works its way around the head gasket to cool the engine. So it could be a multitude of things. You could even just be having, and I would check this honestly first because this would be a pretty easy thing to replace as well. If you have a drip, check like your hose, just like do a visual like visual inspection, just run your hand across it, see if it, it is wet. Like your upper hose is at the top of the engine. It's not, nothing is gonna drip on it. So if you feel that it's wet and there maybe it's punctured, that'd be an easy fix. You don't have to unbolt anything. You just take a few clips off here and then replace that. But if you do find that it's the water pump um, or maybe some other bolt somewhere is just not tightened down um, on a hose or a clamp, go ahead and replace that, but um, could just be your radi radiator itself as well. But uh, honestly, I didn't want to have to replace the radiator. So, and plus it was dripping behind the radiator. So just kind of do a visual inspection. If there's any plastic that you can take off, like this piece of plastic right here for me under the AC compressor, I would have to take off the jack up the car, take off the wheel um, to take off that piece of plastic. I really just didn't want to do that. Again, I didn't know it was going to be $96 um, for a simple test without any repairs done. Probably took them 25 minutes. Um, however, I don't have a jack or a, like a lift. I can't get it up in the air. So you got to pay for what you got to pay for. So um, again, any questions, please put them in the comments. I apologize for the long-windedness here. I want to make sure I covered as much as I could. Um, I found in my case, it happened to be a, just a gasket break here. What it could be, if you take yours apart and it's just, it's not, could be if, if the, if the part fails, it likely won't leak. You might, I don't, I'm not sure what the issue would be if you have a, a failed water pump. Um, but if you have a leak and it's not the gasket, I would go ahead and check the torque specs on all of your bolts and make sure that those are all good. Make sure that you don't have a loose bolt and that's the only reason that it was dripping somewhere. Um, make sure that all other parts, and you can even go to AutoZone or your local auto parts store, see if you can rent a tool for free, um, like a, a pressure tester and you can, there's other videos on YouTube and maybe I'll make one in the future on how to pressure test your car. Um, honestly, I may even already have one on my channel somewhere, but just how to, it's, it's a simple tool. You find the, the piece that fits where you put your coolant in, you screw it on and then you, it's the little pump and you pump it. And then if the gauge goes up and then just keeps falling, you know, there's a leak somewhere. And then you can just kind of look under your car and see where is it leaking? Is it leaking over on the passenger side? Is it leaking over on the driver's side somewhere? Um, like I said, if it's, if it's something hopefully not wrong with like your, your head gasket, that's what the guy at the 
um, at Honest One Auto Care, Tony said, at least it's not your head gasket. If it's leaking from your head gasket, that's a blown head gasket, and you probably, unless you want to pay a couple grand to get that replaced, you may be looking at trying to get rid of your car. In this case, I knew it was just something minor, and I knew that it was something I could get to with taking just a couple things off, like the battery and um, serpentine belt and a few pulleys. To get to it, I would replace that. Very well worth it. Um, and then while you're in there, you can replace the serpentine belt and do other uh, minor maintenance. But um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. I apologize for being long-winded here. Um, I will show you in another video just exactly what I had to do to take off and replace this part. Um, but if you have any other diagnostic questions, maybe your scenario is a little bit different, I can give you my best um, my best answer if you leave that in the comment section. Um, I hope this helps someone out though. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Till next time, thanks.